Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we're going to talk all about something that should give you a little bit of holiday cheer, especially if you're a Glossier fan. These are the Glossier Party Pots Kit. That's right. For $40, you get three of these really pretty limited edition eye and cheek shades. We're going to talk all about them. Don't forget that you can also join me over on Instagram, TikTok, and on threads. But we have a lot to do here first. So these little party pots do come in a kit of three for $40. Not bad. Remember, I mean, this channel, we don't do drugstore makeup. We do high end and luxury. So for high end, Makeup, $40 for three shades, not bad. They come in this really cute, very giftable little packaging here. And oh, I'm a little embarrassed. I wanted to show, <laughs> I wanted to show you this cute little, they come in this really cute recyclable paper housing where they're each in one of those little holes. I had to rip this thing apart like some sort of super savage beast. Not just a savage beast, but a, I almost filmed myself doing it, but I'm sure my face was just like, ah, I, I could not get them out. There must be a trick to it, but I did have to take apart the cute little recycle. Maybe you won't, and your little gift will remain pretty and sweet. And for the Glossier fan amongst you, this is a very nice, very good little product. I will have it linked below, along with everything I am wearing now, and along with information on our $4.99 private members only group for weekly gossipy lives. We'd love to see you there. All right, let's take a look at these. So basically, these are three shades of a super, they're not moussey, but they're, they're very creamy, like a little cream eyeshadow shade. And each kit comes with three limited edition shades. Buzz, which I'm holding up now, kind of a light honey. Click is the name of it, C-L-I-C-K, which is kind of a, a cool rosy shade. So you get warm and cool in here. And Twist, which is a warm, very warm copper. So kind of two, one neutral shade, warm leaning neutral, the first one. A cool shade, and then this Twist, which is a very warm shade. They're buildable, vegan, lightweight. They do not have the feeling of a mousse, uh, like the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize. They do not have the feeling of a clay or a putty, like the MAC Paint Pots or the Merit Solo Shadows. And they do not have the feeling of a souffle, like the Surat that I talked about, I guess it would be yesterday when that video came out. These kind of have their own little thing, almost like a little bit of a cream eyeshadow. You can use a brush, you can use your finger, you can use these on the cheeks, you could use these as a highlighter, you can go ahead and stick them on the lips, whatever you want. They are very pretty and sheared out. They don't have the staying power of like a MAC paint pot or a Merit solo shadow, um, but they definitely do thin out and have a nice long time that they'll last on the eye, probably between six to eight hours. And they don't crease unless you really build them up a lot. They might crease a little bit. So my, well, let's look at the uh, swatches first, shall we? Here they are first. We'll do two different lightings. First in studio lighting, there they are left to right. Buzz, click and twist. And you will get all three of these in one $40 kit. They are limited edition, both the eye and cheek shades and the entire kit. Those are not sheared out. Those are really just kind of the built up shades. I'll show you them sheared out when we do the demo. I also am uh, neglectful in not thanking uh, the lovely Celeste G, a stalwart member of our community here. Celeste actually put these on my radar. I somehow missed them. So I thank Celeste. I ordered them right away and when she mentioned them to me, she was considering them. So I hope this video will help her and you guys as well. All right, let's take these outside to see them a little bit better in the warm California sunshine. I always think that natural lighting is the absolute best. There's left to right buzz, click and twist. Buzz is the most neutral, but that's kind of going a little warm too. But um, Click is definitely a cool rose shade. All right, let's try these on a little bit. I've got nothing but some mascara on. I have a little bit of a cheek shade. I'm trying a nude stick, and I have the same color on cheek and lip, and I'm actually really liking it. This is one of the first times I've tried nude sticks, but we can put a little bit of this on anyway. So I'm gonna take some of this Click, the cool rose shade, 
And let's kind of try this on a cheek. I didn't have a brush over here, a cheek brush. Uh, you can use the back of your nail, you can use a brush, it doesn't really matter. I'm just kind of putting this on because it's rosy and because it's shimmery. Now let's talk about glitter. Uh, whenever I do a product with ha which has any sort of shimmer, people always want to know about glitter particles. This one is much more glittery than, say, the Surratt um, Souffle. I think Surratt and Glossier have kind of a different audience. Maybe not, because I reviewed both, but I, I do. I think they attract different people. But this one is definitely younger and has much more glitter and much less shimmer. I think the light is picking that up. I mean, shimmer, a lot, but has much, it's not um, rough in texture. I don't feel the glitter particles, but they are more present in the shimmer. This shimmer is more glittery. That's actually really, really pretty. Let's put this on the other cheek, too. I know I'm using an eye an eyeshadow brush, but I just don't want to get it all over my nails. But like I said, you can go in with the back of your nail. At home, nobody will judge. You can do whatever you want. This could be kind of a blush, a blush topper. You could almost even warm the face up if you don't mind being a little bit glittery with that uh, warm copper shade. I don't know. I'm not that brave. You know, it's just makeup. Have fun. Take it off if you hate it. So now I'm kind of going blush topper with this pretty cool shade. That's pretty, isn't it? Again, I do have a cream blush underneath it, just so you know. All right, let's switch up our brushes here, and let's try this Buzz Light Honey shade on one eye. And what I'm going to do is literally just kind of paint it on. Now, as you see, once you get it onto the eye thick like this, there it is really thick, obviously that needs to be spread out, then it does resemble more of a mousse texture as you make it thicker. And the thicker you keep it, the more likely it, you know, might crease a little bit. The more you shear it out, here it is not sheared out, and this is the Buzz shade doesn't really matter because you're going to get all three. You can't order them individually. I do need to say that. That is going to crease a little more if it's not sheared out. And the more that you shear it, I'm tapping and kind of gently spreading it with my finger. The more you shear it, the less likely it is to crease. And it is very pretty. Can you wear these over a powder shadow? Absolutely. Can you wear these underneath to build a powder shadow over the top? Absolutely. Can do anything you want. Um, I think Glossier is kind of kind of putting them out there like a one and done party shadow and they're even saying that you could do it on the eyes and cheeks and kind of pull the look together and that's really pretty. This one, this particular buzz shade, I do think, think needs a little bit something else so we'll do that in a moment maybe. Maybe we'll actually let's do it now. I'm going to take that same brush and dip into that rose shade that's on the cheeks and just kind of combine it. That's looking a little boring to me on its own, but it kind of depends on your skin tone. Let's see how these layer and build because you can go ahead and layer them. Like I said, you're going to get all three for $40 if you order this. So that added a little bit of dimension. It doesn't show up a lot, but these are very sheer. They're buildable though. And I have made them very thick, so I do run the risk of a little bit of creasing, but I've been playing with them a little bit. It's nothing heinous. You know, uh, when you look in the mirror and you've got to go, you know, you've got to run to the restroom at a party and just kind of try to smooth your eyeshadow. It's, it's not like that. Um, a lot of people say that the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize are like that on them. Uh, not so much on me, so maybe I'm not a good judge of it. I don't know. And I'm going to put a little bit of this rose shade on the lips, too. Why not? Just kind of over, you know, they say it's for parties, so I'm putting it over what I got. And it still feels really nice. That's really pretty, actually. And now I want to try this twist shade while I'm getting ready. Do me a favor and look down. Are you subscribed to this channel? I would love your help in getting to 20,000. I'm going for the moon after that, you know, but I would love to get to 20,000 before I go to the moon. I could sure use your help if you would subscribe, please. Okay, this twist warm copper shade interests me a little bit more. I think it's got a little bit more oomph to it. So I'm going to put it on here with this here. I haven't played with this one. I have played a lot more in the last few days with that pretty rose shade because I do like it a lot. But now I'm kind of, if you like warm, I'm, I think I'm kind of going to be partial to this twist shade. 
It's the first time I'm trying this one um, because it does have a little bit more oomph. There it is, not sheared out. So it's making a little bit more of a statement. It's not that these promise to make a statement, by the way. You know, these, these are just supposed to be a pretty wash of color that's kind of glittery and sparkly for the holidays. Again, when I say glitter, do not get intimidated. I do not mean anything with chunks of sharp glitter in it. We've all seen that before, especially around the holidays. Uh, you won't find that here. And I would say I give it a 50% mark for creasability. It's going to crease a little bit, guys. It is. It is, but not too bad. And it also depends. Do you have, um, like I do, hooded eyes? You know, where they're always kind of, you know, in and up. Depends also how your eyelids are. Mine are going to be more prone to that. I didn't have too much trouble, especially as I sheared it out. And yeah, you know what? I think with my eyes anyway, I think this is the prettiest shade. But you could go ahead and combine them. You could take, for instance, I think that that uh, Buzz shade is our lightest shade. So I could even take that. Again, you're going to get all three if you order it. So I could take all that and go into the center, inner corner of the eye, I should say. And I could even take a little bit of the rose shade and stick that in the middle. I know that's mi mixing warm and cool, but why not? That's kind of a pretty eye look for a party. And all of these also work on the cheek and looked fine to me on the lip. How would something like this look on my cheek, you wonder? Okay, well, let's try it. Here's the lightest fuzz shade. And yeah, I'm doing two together here. Let's just, this is the, talk about a high point of the cheek. Let's just see. So that's got more of a champagne look to it. Let me do it a little darker for you guys to see. A little thicker, I should say. I don't know if this goes darker. It's not blended very well, but you get the idea. Put a little bit down, maybe the center of the nose there. That's that kind of whitish, whitish champagne shade. Not bad. Very pretty. And I think for $40, you know, again, it's not drugstore. But when we talk about high-end beauty, I think that's fairly doable. And it does, as long as you don't have a Savage Beast in your house that's ripping it apart like Rebecca here. Um, it does make a pretty little gift uh, for someone you love or for yourself. I think you need to treat yourself. I mean, we're important. It's self-care. <laughs> We got to look pretty for these holiday parties. It's a quick look out the door. And, you know, you could use it. You could throw this in your bag and then use your finger just to spruce yourself up a bit for an office party or something like that. Just, you know, got to look good. The office parties always have a lot of gossip, you know. So tell me what you guys think. This is what makes us a community. Do you like this? Are you partial to Glossier shadows? I think this will get a lot of Glossier fans. I don't anticipate it will get that it will attract those who Glossier has not attracted before. Does that make sense? Like, it feels like this is going to be something snapped up by people who already like and trust Glossier, but you can tell me what your thoughts are on that. I would love to hear it. All of those thoughts are what makes us a community. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and like, you know, share, and of course, subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye-bye.